on the off chance that Mrs. Patterson, or Dorothy as we know her, uh, is Mrs. Patterson, maybe a widow, I come back to look, see can I get a key for Gibson's. Maybe I've overlooked something. It's possible. I mean the first time. Oh. Every time I think I get that button right, I get it wrong. What's wrecking my head <laughs> is how do I get into a secret room in the church? <laughs> how do I get into Gibson's photo lab that I've been trying to get into for ages? Am I missing something daft? Something staring at me? I know I wanted to try number 19 Black Pine Road as well. Why did I want to do that? I can't remember. <laughs> If someone gave you a key to look after a spare, where would you put it? You'd imagine that it'd be on a nail here. Just checking that it's not bugged out or anything. <laughs> we never got in here either. Oh. We never got in here. Maybe it's in here. How do we get this door open then? I have a feeling it's in there. How do I get in there? Do you reckon I missed a key maybe in our, our room in the mansion? Don't tell me let's go back to the mansion. Oh. Ah, it's been a while since we were in here. Maybe we missed something. Does that want to be unlocked at all? It's funny, I thought there was something on the bed the last time. Doesn't seem to be want to be unlocked. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this as if we were never here before. <laughs> Now there's that filing cabinet we never get open. That's got four digits. And I have a clue where to start. That's as good as any. I mean, that's as good a guess as any. When does it ever generate the actual code? Hmm. Okay. Do we have a house number for this guy? Okay, we came in. Closed this door. We looked at all this stuff here. I don't believe it. Uh, didn't I get it here? Huh? That's weird. If you're a private investigator, do you have to inform the sheriff that you're working in his town? I don't know. I don't know. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I'm spitballing here. I have to speak my mind. Hi, this is Stephen. Okay, he, I just he knows. To make sure the package was sent. What was the package? Again, I'm currently at Anne's courtyard. Yeah. Any extra info you have would be much appreciated. Thank okay. you very much. Talk to you later. Okay, so you knew he existed. You're in communication. That's good. That's good to know. Now. What am I missing? What am I missing? How do I open this? Okay. At this stage, everything's worth a shot. Where am I going to get that information? Where am I going to get information to open this? Where would I get that? Come on. Kick in, brain. I knew this game was going to be a challenge. 
put it like that way it, it's been kind of like you, you could kind of go from one place to another but now it's just kind of I know what to do but I don't know how to do it <laughs> I know I need to open that I need to open room 201 or his glove box I doubt his briefcase in his glove box so I'd imagine the key is in the glove box and the briefcase is in the room what's in the briefcase photographs more on Bernard or did he discover something else does he know that Bernard killed Scott we're thinking along those lines now anyway am I missing something how do I get a code for that though do we know where he lives Emergency police number. This is a 911, isn't it? <laughs> ah, so it says zero. Uh, nine. One. One. Okay. <laughs> I'm grasping at straws here. I haven't a clue. Something needs to give. Something needs to... I don't know. I need inspiration. I have to look at my notes again. And the door is jammed. We're back here in Andrew Reed's house. I think I'm just basically going over everything. There doesn't seem to be an unlock. Oh, that means I won't be able to use the, um, the Slim Jim. I was thinking of the Slim Jim or Hammer. But, uh, yeah, you can't use, there's no unlock function. So that's basically out. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to look everywhere again over everything because I'm just completely stumped. Sheriff's outpost, there's a, lo there's a locked um, filing cabinet there. Postal service, we can't get into. Oliver's photography, we need to get in to get a shovel. And um, whatever else he is, some other tools. Forget. A shovel and a wrench or something? I forget. Uh, what we need the wrench for, I don't know. The shovel, we need to dig up something in the cemetery, a time capsule. We need to be able to get in the other gate in the cemetery. There's a hidden room in the church, an attic. I haven't a clue how to get in there. Doesn't seem to be anything to even give a hint. And it's courtyard in and suites, I suppose we could check. I know there's room 201 we have to get into. We could probably go around that again just to make sure we've got it. Farmer's market. I don't know. I, there's nothing there we could see. And the fact that it's a white box compared to the, a, a coloured box. Mm, it's like plain. I'm thinking that's of nothing. Mayor's mansion. And the hospital. Do I need to go through both of those places again? I hate going back to the mayor's mansion because it's so laggy. I think I've been through everything in it though. I don't know. And as for the hospital, I mean, most rooms are closed. A slim Jim is hardly going to work on that. I think we've seen all the cars around the place. Nothing else in them. Uh, we need to get into maybe the... Uh, glove box in the detective's car there's a handprint on that so I'm thinking that's important I'm thinking maybe his, his room key is in there I might be wrong I don't know oh, I really don't know this, this I've reached an impasse I've reached somewhere where I, I, I have no hints as to where to go or what to do next Except for Oliver's photography, which I can't seem to get into. And um, the uh, church is a secret room that I can't get into. And the detective's room that I can't get into. So I'm missing something somewhere. And I have a feeling I have to go through everything. 
Maybe we'll go to the hospital. Seems that was the first map that popped up. Check the hospital, then we'll go to the mansion. Um, and then we'll go back to Anne's courtyard. There's also possibility of a what you call it of a house with a combination somewhere Aunt Cecilia Bernard's Aunt Cecilia has a has a flat combination I'm not sure if that's anywhere around here I haven't noticed as far as I can remember I haven't noticed anyone with a combination lock on their door okay I'm heading to the hospital I'll see you in there is there anything I missed If Father Matthew forgets his key, place it under the flower pot. Yeah. What about these ones? Are these any around any? No. No, these notes are. Can I not pass by there? <gasps> okay. None of those notes are legible. Do you reckon there's any secret passages here? Who built the place? Like, you know. Is the, we have a map. We have a map, so let's use it. Okay. Uh, floor one, cafeteria, doctor's office, elevator, emergency room, exam room one, two, kitchen, lobby, medical records. We've been in nurse room, operation room, patient room 101, patient room 102, break room, restroom, stairs A, B, and C. 2F is elevator, patient room 201, to all the way down to 10. Rehab equipment storeroom, we didn't get into that. Rehab room, restroom, stairs A, B, and C. B, storage, stairs, elevator, electri electric control room, mortuary. Uh, Right. Cafeteria. Doctor's office. Were we in the doctor's office? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Who is in? Who are the patients again? Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. We never went. 20 Black Pine Road was Miller's. But, uh... I wonder if there's any relation. Probably not. I think that's just coincidence. Because, I mean, she was... Probably in the orphanage as well. Okay, we had Wanda in room 102. We got in there. Um, Teresa. Is it Teresa? Teresa M. In room 201. Did we get into Trisha's room? 203? I can't remember. Sharon B. 204. Harold M. I remember we didn't Wanda's. We got our key. Let's go to room 203. I can't remember if we in it or not. <laughs> So, map 203, second floor. Stairs are up here. This is room 203. And it's locked. That's an important room, I'd imagine, to get it. How did we not do that before? It's got an unlock. Slim Jim Hammer Time. <laughs> nope. Oh, oh, hold on. Um, how to forget I have my card. I should try that. Oops, I moved away. Crashed. <laughs> Back again. Uh, I'm going to try that. Okay. Okay, we didn't crash this time. Okay, so we need to get keys to the hospital. We need to find the nurse's station. It was downstairs. We were at that before, there were no keys. Lockers, perhaps? 
Where is the nurse's station? I'm lost. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, there are all the, all the doctors. For doctors. Oh no, these. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um. Call swabs open. They're all locked. Keys. Lost and found. We got something in there before. Oh yeah, wonders. It's just a beauty beauty. Keys for doctors. Maybe the doctor's office. Doctor's office. Doctor's office. Uh, a map. Doctor's office. Two. One. Uh, two. Where are we now? We're in the mm, nurse room. Mm. Would this be considered a nurse room? I would have thought this is nurse station 10. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Look at my map. So the doctor's office is over here. It's an office and that's the stairs. Oh. Oh. That's a uh, Use item. Oh, key card is needed. Oh, okay. Where do we get a key card? Is that a handprint? It looks like a handprint. Hmm. Key card. Cafeteria, doctor's office, elevator, emergency room, exam room, kitchen, lobby, medical records, nurse room, nurse room, it's 10, uh, operation room, patient room, patient room, break room, restroom, stairs, 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 elevator, patient room, we have, oh, I don't know, I think there'd be one here somewhere. Handyman. Well, there you go. It just goes to show you we didn't probably spend enough time in the hospital. Key card wouldn't have fallen. <gasps> I don't remember this opening before. I could be wrong. <laughs> Nothing. I was excited. <laughs> Susan, Catherine, Lisa, Maureen. Don't remember seeing their names anywhere. Don't seem to be able to open exam room one. Okay, that's 17 thing. Maybe just a, a red herring because none of these doors actually open. Did I know this from before? Oh, this one unlocks. Oh. Whoa, one and two don't, but three does. That's interesting. Mmm, that jar we've seen before in a couple of places. Just wonder what it was. I thought it was a fizzy drinks one there for that. Storage. Whoops, bit of lag there. And that unlocks as well. Do you reckon I have to get keys for all these places? Nurse's station, emergency center. We've been in the medical records room. Do we miss anything? Close it. Close it. Some can somebody let Catherine know that I found her missing pin. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I don't remember this. And I placed it 
one um, her missing pin and I placed it one of the drawers of the lobby. If she's wondering, I found it in the basement storage. She needs to take better care of her things. Catherine's one of the nurses. Her, her pin. Do I remember this? Out of... Did we not open this drawer before? Oh, come off it. Oh, that's an awful mistake to make. What's that? What is that? Sorry, um, in the lobby. The lobby. Can someone let Catherine know that I found her missing pin? And I placed it in one of the drawers of the lobby. If she's wondering, I found it in the basement storage. She needs to take care of this. Basement storage, lobby, Catherine, missing pin. Why connected? Why the basement storage? Could we get into the basement storage? Is that not where we found the hammer? Maybe that's what it's up about? No? Maybe it would have been... Oh, a hint to go for the hammer earlier? Oh, I don't know. Should we have been through all these before? Haven't we? Did I miss a drawer here as well? Did I miss drawers, do you think? Whoa, 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 pick up, pick up. You're joking me. Ah, oh, pin. Oh. <laughs> a pin. Oh, very clever. Uh, <laughs> that is not the pin I was looking for. Ah, that is clever. That is clever. <laughs> okay. That's even more clever. 1964. Do you reckon that's her pin? Pin? Get it? <sighs> that's priceless. I didn't notice that before. Oh. Did I even open these drawers before? Could you miss so much? No wonder I couldn't advance. I've obviously missed something vital. Let's try that. <laughs> Pin. <laughs> oh. Oh. Not what I expected. Logbook. I expected more uh, along the lines of a... What do you call it? key Ooh, interesting may 19th 1993 norma jefferson was admitted at 10 24 a.m her son found her on the side of the bed and immediately called us we what do you mean side of the bed oh like on the floor we tried to reach dr johnson but were not able to after the third try we gave up and called dr schneider who was not supposed to be on duty it's the third time that we failed to reach Dr. Johnson. He's never been unreachable this many times before. June 4th, 1993. Jocelyn has been sick three days in a row, with Carla calling in sick at the last moment. Tonight's staff will be extremely short-handed. I was assigned to do double shifts this weekend. June 20th, 1993. It's unfortunate that eight-year-old Timothy Scott... <gasps> Drowned. Is, is that the guy who went missing? Rumour was that he was trying to retrieve his toy and lost his grip on a branch. He was supposedly alone while everyone else was playing in the playground. His body was found three hours later in the river near the hunting cabin. Oh. Hold on a second. Was that the kid? Oh, really not. Uh, June 26, 1993. I was at the end of the hallway when I saw a young lady standing outside Dr. Johnson's office. It was 11.15 p.m. and the visiting hours were over. I called out to her. She turned to me and promptly walked away. 
I couldn't be exactly sure, but I thought she looked drenched. I looked out of the window. It wasn't raining. I need to hire someone else to cover nights. <laughs> uh, do you think that was Sophia? Timothy Scott. Was that the child? Oh, what good is that? I want a... Oh, come on, I want a pass key. Are you serious? That's all I'm going to get. What good was that? Um. Uh. Can't believe I missed that thing though in, in the records office. And in the front lobby the thing as well. Now hold on. What am I doing? I'm completely. N oh yeah. The um. The uh. Child. Oh, no, he's Joshua Taylor. Timothy Scott. Oh boy, where do I get a card? Now, now I'm gonna have to double check everything because if I miss that much, back to the records office. Do you think I missed it? No, no. Do you think I missed anything else in there? Cafeteria, doctor's office, elevator, emergency room. Four. Then that way. Emergency room. Oh, we were in here as well. Yeah. You seeing what I'm seeing? <gasps> no way! Oh, no way! Oh, it's Henry Johnson's. Non-expiring. That's Andy. Oh. Oh, we passed. Oh. Don't don't include everyone else that you passed it, you idiot, Paul. Oh. How could you pass that? How much have I passed before? Honestly. What am I waiting for? <laughs> I frightened the life of me. It's never happened before. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's just frightening the life of me. There are waves. Waves. Oh, waves of shivers going through me. <laughs> my lower extremities have gone slightly numb. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Is there someone here? That's the electricity that's gone off. Does that mean I'm not going to be able to use this? Someone's watching me. Keycard is needed. Yeah, we, we have. We have keycard. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, this... Oh. Power is off. Oh. Oh, more shivers. Oh, I don't think I want to be. <laughs> oh. That's all. Should I? Oh, I'm afraid to move. Is she coming after me? Is there? Oh, she is there? Someone else here, like some physical person? Maybe that's not even her ghost. Maybe someone's dressing up as her. to make sure I was recording there just for some reason I thought oh no you think then when the power was off you'd just be able to open the door probably got some kind of emergency lock type, type thing on it anyway, no okay 
I shut the unlock. Oh, this is scary. Glad I have the torch. I don't really want to go. Uh, oh, I don't know. Where do I, how do I get the power on? Wait a minute. Electric control room B1. Where's the basement over this way? Would someone have had to have turned it off from the basement? Oh yeah, I opened the door. I was going to say the door's open. Someone's here. Oh, I got more shivers in my neck. <laughs> oh, I have no weapon. Oh. I just had an awful thought. Can you be killed in the game? Oh. Did I leave that door open? Can he be killed in the game? Like, is there someone actually stalking us? Oh, dude. Oh. Yeah. That was turned. Oh, that was turned off by somebody. Oh, no. Oh, I've got shivers running right through me. <laughs> This is a cool game. Oh, goodness gracious me. Someone pulled that handle. Oh, we're not alone. We're not alone. Oh. When Catherine lost her pin in here. Oh, I'm afraid. They could have escaped. Oh, they could have come through the tunnels. How did they know just to do it when I was got the car to go in? Oh, stop. Well, I am here. Let's see, did, did I leave any? Oh. Or for him to be in. Did I leave any um, keys on the floor or anything? Does not look like it. Does not look like it. Okay, well, at least that's my curiosity satisfied in that regard. Okay, book it. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, this, this is, this is, this has got shades of amber skull in it. <laughs> who's to say it won't be turned off again? And who's trying to stop me? Will a ghost turn off the power? I think there's somebody here. Who is it? Very dark down there. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, lights aren't working. I don't particularly want to close this door, but I'm gonna check behind there. Okay. I'm guessing this is Henry's own room then. Jackson and Lewis. Oh, yeah, Vivian. Didn't we see that name before, maybe? Influential citizen. Ha, 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 ha. She had stuff like this in her, in the mansion. Should I take pictures of these? Does it really matter? Oh, he has volumes of, of books. It's hardly... Uh, yeah, it's hardly anything that would open... Oh, What's that? We can't interact with it. Or maybe it's just a bookend, is it? Yeah, there's another one. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm cold. I'm actually cold. <laughs> I was roasting a minute ago, but I'm actually cold just from the from the fright oh I 
think you're gonna find nothing in these places that looks things. Try the desk. Okay. Hardly gonna be anything in here anyway. I mean, although he has a key card, you'd imagine he'd feel safe leaving stuff here of a private nature, perhaps. Ooh, message. <laughs> Henry, I just received a letter from the NMB investigation firm regarding the use of the <gasps> RRF funds. I need you to call me. Henry, we really need to talk. Please call back. What's going on, Henry? Why aren't you returning my calls? This is really important. Is that supposed to be Vivian? Is she... Oh, was she in with him on the embezzlement? Oh. Do you reckon? Or did he just take off? Regarding the use of the RRF funds, I need you to call me. Um, fund embezzlement. Nelson and Brown, NNB. NNB. Robert Shree Foundation. Henry, we really need to talk. Please call back. What's going on, Henry? Why aren't you returning my calls? Goodbye. This is really important. Important? Go on, one more. Henry, I just received a letter from the NMB investigation. NMB, not r &B. It's not Henry, rhythm and blues, calling. dude. Okay. Good. Henry, we really need to talk. Please call back. What's going on, Henry? Why aren't you returning my calls? This is really important. Sounds very young. No combinations on this desk, thankfully. Nothing in it either. Ooh, we've got a, the exact same thing. Two pencils and a box. Pencils and a box! Oh, which one do we read first? This one. To Charles Roberts. I don't know if it's a joke that you sent me the threat letter, but if you knew about the well, then you must have found out the truth. Just so you know, your wife was the one behind all of it. If you have any grudge, it's with her, not me. I was just a witness in Sophia's death, nothing more. Henry Johnson, June 30th, 1995. Fax it tomorrow. Hmm. Should I... Uh, okay, we wrote, wrote that down. I was going to say, should I take a picture of it? I know what you did. Meet me by the well at midnight. You know which one. Come along. Okay. This is the real one. The other guy had a photograph of it, is it? See the ease? That's what I meant. I don't think... I don't I think there's more to it. Yeah. Would now Ooh key Ooh two oh three Oh alrighty Well we're getting somewhere Still want a key to two oh one in the in the um in the other place. You wouldn't have any of that by any chance? Is this nothing? Nothing nothing we get the one at the bottom? Nothing. Oh, boy. Ooh. Vivian Roberts, One Maple Drive, Paints Creek, May 29, 1993, Dr. Henry Johnson. Dr. Henry Johnson, 
Oh, dear Dr. Henry Johnson, I would like to thank you for your contribution to the Paints Creek Community Hospital and the people of Paints Creek for the past two decades. However, there have been reports regarding the mishandling of funds designated for PCH, most of which uh, came from the Roberts Relief Fund. This award was meant to help with the purchases of medical equipment and supplies. Since a sum of nearly 160000 has been estimated missing, we have no other choice except to open an investigation. Until you are able to explain the discrepancies between your accounting and ours, we have no choice but to suspend all funding for the hospital for the, for the time being. I will be meeting you and your accountant to solve these issues so we may continue to support the hospital's needs. Sincerely, Vivian Roberts. So she wasn't in on it. Okay. Or at least she was covering her tracks. It doesn't seem she was in on it. Okay. Oops. I don't think we missed anything else, did we? Well, I don't know, Paul. You seem to miss quite an important amount of stuff here. Room 203 is upstairs. Can't believe how I missed that card. That is a rookie mistake. It's unforgivable. No. <laughs> Talk about mistakes. Um, key with the tag 203 found in the hospital's office. Alrighty. Ooh. Nice looking room. Okay. Let's go in. So this was Trisha's room. Are we about to find out what happened to Trisha? Don't believe it. Can we open it? Do you think will it unlock at any time? Nope. Okay, that's not important. Brush. Nice. Milk. Okay. Decor, basically. Someone's been in here before me. Do you think the person who knocked off the electricity also got in? Oh, 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 oh. oh, can't pick this knife up. That's interesting. Spoons and a big knife. That's weird. We could pick up every other sharp knife. Mm-hmm. doesn't say anything. Was she doing her investigations too? Everyone else was. Why wouldn't she be? It's probably just a soap dispenser. Or maybe it's just... Uh, maybe it's just tapes that she was watching. You know, fed up being in hospital. Ooh, jitters. Ooh. Oh, a key. A key. Looks like a room key. What kind of room key? It can't be room to 201. They didn't look like that. A room key. Looks like a room key. Oh, I should have looked at the other room key and had a good look at it before we used it. Is it a... Hospital room key. What does it say? I bet you it'll just say it looks like a room key. <laughs> a bedroom key. Found in next to Dorothy's diary in the hospital. Dorothy's diary? In the hospital in room 203. What? Dorothy? What is she doing with Dorothy's diary? June 27, 1995. Yesterday, on hearing that Scott was apprehended for the murder of his, uh, of her, what? Uh, of her mother, Trisha collapsed. The hospital called this morning to inform us that it was just a nervous breakdown. Okay, yesterday, after hearing Scott was apprehended for the murder of her mother, Trisha collapsed. The hospital called this morning to inform us that it was just a nervous breakdown. However, they've suggested that she should stay there for another few days. Charles is asking me to stay by her side. Ah, okay. 
August 3rd, 1995. It rained today. Trisha has always hated the rain. She went up on the roof and she fell off. No. She stayed in bed, tucked under the blanket, nearly the entire day. Here and there she mutters Scott's name out of uh, out loud. She cried herself to sleep a few times. It pains me to see her like this. August 22nd, 1995. Charles visits Trisha almost every day. Today, he was quieter than usual. All of the sudden, he told... All of a sudden? He told me that Vivian had been seeing another man, apparently a banker, for more than a year. He asked me if Vivian ever talked to me about it. I said I didn't know anything, but was sure that Vivian would never have done such a thing. Then I realised that Trisha was awake. I'm not sure if she heard our conversation. September 8, 1995. Sheriff Howard came today. He asked me if I remember seeing anything suspicious the night Vivian died. I've already told him everything I know. It's frustrating to be asked over and over about things that I just want to forget. Before he left, I asked if Scott could really be the killer. He said he's wondering the same thing. If Scott was not the killer, then who killed Vivian? September 16th, 1995. Derek. Strange that they should put Derek's name after who killed Vivian. Derek came to see Trisha. I asked him how he was doing. He said that the medical expenses for Wanda were more than he expected. Even with Charles' help, he's been forced to use up most of his savings. He's currently searching for a second job. He asked me if, he asked me if there was a future for him. Travelling with Charles made him see some of the rather ugly sides of the world. He's seen plenty of ugliness before he even get out of kindergarten. Well, his mother is hospitalised with terminal cancer and seeing his best friend, Trisha, like this pains him. I didn't know what to tell him. Before he left, he leaned close to her and whispered, Would it have been better if Scott just never showed up? Would you have chosen me? I wish that I never heard that. Wow. So do you think Derek knifed Scott? Oh, there's so much to this. So much. I turned off the light, didn't I? Yeah. Um, uh, nothing else. Ooh. Oh. Scott Brooks' body found by Jogger with multiple stab wounds to the heart. <gasps> Crime of passion. Oh. More shivers. November 16th, 1995. Police unsure if event is tied to the killing of Vivian Roberts. Scott Brooks, the murder suspect of Vivian Roberts' case, was killed yesterday. His body was found on the roadside along Maple Drive. At around 6.50am, a jogger happened to see a body lying motionless on the side of the road behind the bush while doing his morning run. Wow. He stopped to check if the person needed help, only to notice that the body was covered in blood. He immediately called 911. The police arrived shortly at around 7am. And victim was pronounced dead. The time of death was predicted to be about four to six hours ago. Ago. Before that, you mean. Uh, putting the time of death between 1 and 3 a.m. Questions have been raised pertaining to the murder of Vivian Roberts, especially since Scott was released from prison due. Scott's body was found behind the bush on Maple Drive. The police are currently investigating the case. Do you think I'll find anything? Maple Drive. Maple Drive. Oh! Right. That is not what I expected. Let's have a look at that. A bedroom key. Found it next to Dorothy's diary in the hospital room 203. Oh! <gasps> Dorothy's bedroom key. Oh, brilliant. Oh, the other... Oh, that's class. I guess we're going to Dorothy's house then. And seeing that Dorothy had hired the investigator, do you think she'd have anything? At least...
least I'm surmising that she did. It's as good a guess as any. She might have anything of his. Maybe a key to his glove box. Or his room key. Something. Hint as to where it is. Or how to break in. Anything. I'm afraid to leave here now without... Ooh, look at right over her now the question is do i stay in the hospital and look around more or there's a storage room isn't there or do i go to um i think we go to your one's house there's a staircase over here somewhere to back to dorothy's and see what's in that room yes oh i thought i saw a movement there Ooh, look at that, a little chest. Oh, that's inviting. Oh, wow. This is a nice, cosy room. I like Dorothy's house. It's cosy. Sophia. Oh. 0526. I should have it written down. I have, yeah, and it's there. Grand. Use. Huh. Ready? Yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh, brilliant. Sophia Miller. Oh, we're finally going to find out about Sophia. Oh, I've got this eerie feeling she's right behind me. <laughs> August 6th, 1974. I know some people don't like me. Wanda always picks on me and Bernard ignores me most of the time. Andrew. Well, he's okay as long as I'm not in his garden. Dorothy cares a lot for me, though. I like her. Tom, our security guard, treats me with respect, even though I'm just a housemaid. Vivian and Charles are kind to me. Oh, and Matthew, too. I almost forgot about him. He's been taking care of me forever. Certainly as long as I can remember. I'm a lucky girl. October 20th, 1974. Matthew talks to me whenever he has time. Sometimes I feel he's trying to escape his chores at the church. We'll talk about everything under the sun. Our hopes, dreams, futures. It reminds me of our days at the orphanage. So they were together. December 29th, 1974. Landing a job here as a maid was the best thing that could have happened to me. However, I've never imagined I would have be having an affair with a married man, let alone my employer. Now I'm carrying his child. How do I face Matthew? March 15th, 1975. I received a letter from Matthew today saying that he'll be extending his stay in Indonesia for six more months. That's always been him. He's always had a noble heart, wanting to help people everywhere. I miss him, but I'm glad he decided to extend his stay there. It gives me time to prepare how I'll explain my situation to him. I don't know how he'll take it if he just hears the truth blurted out once he gets back. March 18th, 1975. I received a telegram this morning from Matthew wishing me a happy birthday. He told me he had a special birthday present prepared for me. All I need to do is find the clues that he placed in our favourite places. He's waiting for my telegram after I've solved the puzzle. I've actually solved it already, but I don't know what to say to him. What shall I do? June 1st, 1975. My baby was born today at 8.20 a.m. And it's a boy. He looks just like Charles. Dorothy's taking good care of us. She prepares the food and attends to my needs. I almost feel like I'm her boss. Charles visits me all the time, asking if we need anything else. I told him he didn't have to come so often. And to instead focus on work. As a mayor, he must have a lot on his mind. June 16, 1975. Charles told me today that his mother Magdalene will be arriving in two weeks. She knows about her relationship. I feel nervous because she's a strict woman. At the same time, I'm happy because she told Charles to take responsibility for me and my son. Soon, I won't have to be a maid anymore. Charles has decided to name our child Vincent Roberts. I like that name. June 16th. I didn't think he had that name. When was it? Name. Oh, July 6th, 1975, he wrote in it. Hmm. 
How come he only wrote that in July 6, 1975 in his diary? Okay, what else you got? What else you got? Oh, we got something else on it. Those things are just haberdashery bits and pieces, but... I can't move closer? No. This is something. March 8, 1975. Dear Sophia, how have you been? I hope everyone is treating you well at the mansion. It's been six months since my missionary work started here in Indonesia. Life here is hard but meaningful. I thought my life at the orphanage was miser miserable. But after coming here, I realized I'm blessed more than I could ever imagine. I'm supposed to be back in one week's time, but I recently decided that I'll be extending my stay here for another six months. I haven't received any letters from you for a while now. I hope you are doing well. Remember the time when we were at the orphanage? You said that you don't want to be poor anymore. I think God heard your call and brought you to Paints Creek. Charles and Vivian told me they were glad I introduced you to them. They said you are a hard-working person with a kind heart and that us being related was not the reason they hired you. You got the job on your own merit. I did not know whether or not to tell them we are not actually cousins. I feel bad for lying to them. I guess I'll have to tell them the truth some day. Having said that, I'm glad that you are in Paints Creek. We can talk and meet any time, just like the good old days at the orphanage. I will do my best here. I hope you can wait for me. Best regards, Matthew Brooks. P.S. I have prepared a special present for your birthday. Wait for my telegram that day. And when was this one again? Eighth. So a, a week. No, a little more. Ten days. Oh boy. Oh, light's gone off again. Sorry. Um. Okay. So, anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. January 18th, 1996. Dear Dorothy, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for all you've done for me. You've taken care of my store on so many occasions. We're going to get the key. You've helped maintain it, its bright spirit. I would be lying if I said that I'm not uh, gaddened or oh, saddened by your departure. All right. <laughs> I will greatly miss you. I wish you all the best in your new place. Do invite me there once you've settled in. May God be with you. Best regards, Oliver Gibson. Oliver sounds like a really nice guy. I hope he's not the murderer. <laughs> like, just completely out of left field. <laughs> Oliver Photo Lab Cleaning. Oliver Photo Lab Cleaning. All right. And there's the key. Finally. Looks like a house key. But how do we get in? I didn't think there was a, a thing for unlocking. Uh, this is a house entrance key found it in Dorothy's house next to her work calendar there we go alrighty Whew. brilliant so we got the key I was right it's in here I'm so delighted we're going to Oliver's we're going to get the shovel and we're going to dig up the time capsule what are we going to find in it I don't know <laughs> Ooh, something else here. Oh. There's a cross, but there's a medal as well. Oh. I can't take it with us, no, no. Why would she leave that? Don't tell me they got to Dorothy too. Can't open it. Come on. Oh, more. Daughter of ex mayor found dead at Paints Creek Community Hospital. Trisha Robert falls 40 foot from rooftop, lands on head, and dies. Okay. My guess was it was uh, her because it was kind of a small, 
it looked kind of small the um thing but i had a feeling maybe someone pushed her off and i'd imagine that's still the case <sighs> okay the hospital is now checking to see why the roof door was not locked. Well, it's still not locked. Investigation is still pending regarding Trisha's death. Trisha Roberts fell 40 feet from rooftop, lands on head and dies. Yesterday morning, the body of Trisha Roberts was found on the grounds of Paints Creek Community Hospital. She was pronounced dead at 7.20, December 27th. According to Miss Thomas, she was starting her morning shift when she heard some sound near the reception area. She went out to find Trisha lying motionless. Blood was flowing out from her head. She quickly called for Dr. Bennett, the attending physician for the day's morning shift, who brought Trisha to the emergency room at once. Unfortunately, it was too late. The hospital CCTV shows that Trisha Roberts was walking around the hospital at around 6.30 a.m. She headed to the roof at 6.54 a.m. A few minutes later, her body was found on the ground, three four floors below. Charles Roberts, ex-mayor and father of the deceased, she followed Sophia. Dude, we're getting all the all the info. Ooh, all newspaper articles found. Oh, uh oh. Does that mean we're nearing the end of the game? <laughs> oh dear. Nothing else can be seen here. No. Oh, this is mad. Hold on. I think we have another drawer to open. Oh. Dorothy. Another one, Dorothy. Friday, October 27th, 1995. Scott was released from prison this morning. Matthew went to pick him up. There's a lot of tension here in Paints Creek. Most people think of Scott as a murderer. Charles tried to stop Trisha from seeing Scott, but it's no use. She was already waiting for him at the cabin. Monday, November 6th, 1995. Charles is drinking again. He couldn't stop Trisha from trying to see Scott, yet Scott seems to be avoiding her. Trisha should not have been discharged from the hospital at this point. She still needs help and rehabilitation. Tuesday, November 14, 1995. Derek and Scott fought at the market today. Derek asked Scott why he's avoiding Trisha. Scott didn't say anything. He just walked away. Derek told him not to come back anymore. It's sad to see what's happening to them now. They used to be such good friends. Thursday, November 16th, 1995. Oh, Scott was killed. Oh. Where did we get? Oh, where did we get further? Oh, Saturday, December 2nd, 1995. Trish has been going crazy ever since Scott died. She sometimes screams in the middle of the night. Here and there she'll ask us why Scott hasn't visited her for a while. No one seems to know how to answer without agitating her condition. Wednesday, December 6, 1995. Trish is finally being admitted to the hospital for another mental breakdown. Charles doesn't know what to do. I've asked for his permission to take care of Trish at the hospital until she recovers. I think Charles appreciates my help. <gasps> oh. Dorothy Patterson's story. Oh boy, there's so much. Even when you think that's it, another bombshell opens up. And, 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 oh, that's amazing. Anything else? Whew. Okay, well, we're finding out now what happened, at least, to them, to some extent. Someone murdered Scott, and perhaps in her derangement she jumped. Or perhaps someone pushed her. I have a feeling she following the ghost of Sophia. I don't know. I don't know. It's a sad situation. This is... Whew. Where are we going now? We've got this key. You're finally going to Oliver's photography shop. Unlock. We do have it does have an unlock. Oh, this better work. It does. Finally. We're in.